Welcome to another episode of Reason Explained. Today, we are going to walk through the different ways to EQ inside of Reason. So let's begin. In this combinator, I have loaded an M-class equalizer and a PEQ2 two-band parametric EQ. Let's start with the M-class equalizer. You'll notice that the left half of your device is your graphical section. This gives a nice visual representation to the EQ settings. The first control you will encounter is the low cut. Selecting this will roll off all frequencies 30 Hz and lower, as you can see by the image at the bottom. Your low shelf is next. This is another way you can roll off or boost a larger range of frequencies, in the 30 to 600 Hz range. As with all sections of the M-Class EQ, your three controls in descending order are frequency, gain, and Q. Your frequency knob sets the start point of your shelf. Your gain will determine if you want to boost or roll off the frequencies. Your Q is used to adjust the width of the beginning of the shelf. This is easier to explain in the Param 1 and 2 sections. Your Param 1 and 2 sections is where you can notch or boost frequencies from 39Hz to 20kHz. Here, I can better demonstrate what Q does. In this example, I will aim the frequency knob towards the low end around 225Hz. I can then adjust the gain up or down to notch or boost that frequency. By adjusting my Q value, I can widen or narrow the notch or boost to incorporate neighboring frequencies. I can then sweep the frequency knob to find frequencies that accentuate or degrade the quality of my sound. Last, you have your high shelf section. This is identical in function to the low shelf, except its frequency range is 3 kHz to 12 kHz. Now, let's look at the PEQ2. The first thing you should notice is that the frequency range is 31 Hz to 16 kHz. The three controls for this equalizer are frequency, Q, and gain. Same as the M-Class. However, Adjusting your frequency knob gives you a number value that doesn't state the frequency you are aiming at. To add a second band of EQ, you can click the button here. Now, let's tab around to the back to compare the two. Your M-Class EQ has only audio in and outputs. Your PEQ2 has the same. However, it has CV inputs for filter frequency for both bands. This is nice as you can add some cool frequency sweeps using the matrix sequencer or CV outputs from another device. The third way to EQ in Reason is using the channel strip EQ on the SSL mixer. I like to use the onboard EQ as a way to polish the overall sound. First, you have your low and high pass filters. This is so you can roll off the high and low end. Below is your high frequency section. The high frequency range is 1.5 kHz to 22 kHz. Your controls are frequency and gain. You also have the bell button, which corresponds to a wider Q value, like a bell shape. Next is the mid-range section. It is broken into two parts. The high mid-range is 600 Hz to 7 kHz. Your controls in this section are frequency, gain, and Q. Turning the Q knob counterclockwise widens the Q, while turning it clockwise makes it more like a peak. The low mid-range is 200 Hz to 2 kHz. Your controls in this section are identical to the high mid-range. Selecting the E button will give you a constant Q value. The changes with this feature can be subtle, so I encourage you to play with different combinations to understand what it does. The last band in the EQ section is the low range. Its range is from 40 Hz to 600 Hz. Its controls are also identical to the high frequency section. Now that you know how the different EQs work, it's time to learn how to use them. Check out some of my other videos and you can see it in action. And don't forget to subscribe.